Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. And today I wanted to cover off our QFile application. Uh, this is an application that basically mirrors FileStation that's in the uh, web user interface of your QNAP, um, just the mobile version. And it's available for both iOS and Android. If I launch straight into QFile, we'll see it does a passcode thing straight away. Um, that's uh, set up currently on my device so that it uses Face ID. Uh, but you can use uh, pin codes uh, or fingerprint sensors, depending what your device supports there as well. Um, so by default here, because I've got the app signed in with my QNAP ID, it's showing all the different NAS and devices that I already have signed in um, with that QNAP ID. And by default, this would be fairly empty. And the option is at the bottom there to add a NAS. Now, when you click Add NAS, it will go off and scan your network uh, to look for any NAS that it can find. Now, so long as your phone is connected to Wi-Fi to the same network that your QNAP is connected into with a network cable, it will find it. Don't worry if they're not both on Wi-Fi. Um, so you can just tap on which NAS it finds, and then you can type in the password and a different username if you wish, so that you can gain access. And if you've changed any of the default ports around or done any special settings, you can tap the advanced option there so that you can type in some custom options to connect to your NAS. Uh, if I just cancel out of this and go back to the full list, uh, the option I'm going to select is the very top one, which is the TVS-H1288X. So if I tap straight into that, it will bring me straight to a listing of all the shares that the account has access to. Um, I'm signed in as admin, so I've got access to absolutely everything. Um, so if I was to say click into a folder like the public folder, we can see that I've got um, some different files and folders that I can click into. Another cool option that you can do as well is you can actually add things to a favorite folder list. So in this side menu here, there's a favorite section and currently mine's empty. So if I was to go back to the uh, public folder there, Maybe I want to add that backup one folder to the favorite folder list. So I can just tap on that and I can click on the add to favorites option there at the top of the other section. And um, so that now if I ever want to gain access to that, I can go straight into the favorites folder list there and it will take me straight there. Um, very quick and easy way to get back to um, uh, the main view there. Um, at the long, along the top there, we do have different options so you can change the view. So at the top right with the four squares, you can change the layout of how it looks. And we've also got a couple of um, options there so that you can um, effectively stream content from the NAS to different devices. So if I tap the one uh, with the uh, sort of wireless symbols in the bottom left corner, I'm just going to find the uh, Shield Android TV that I have on my network so that I could play files to that one. If you do have um, other network media players, they can come up in the other option as well. So you can also refresh that list if you've just turned it on. Um, some other options in the left hand side menu as we scroll down is auto upload. So you might have seen that happening already. Um, at the top of the screen as I've been browsing around. Um, I've got auto upload enabled. So what it's gonna do is scan my device for any new photos or videos that I have, and it's going to automatically upload those based on the settings I had when I set that up. So they're going to the TVS H1288X, and I'm doing it over the QSync um, um, application that we have, and they're all going to a destination called camera uploads. Um, so you've got some options here for background uploading. So if the app is closed, it will try its best to do the upgrade. Um, uh, that works a lot better on Android. There's a, a, a lot more multitasking support there. Uh, but on iOS, it does work to a point, but it does work faster if the app is open. You can choose to keep the original file name. And if there is a duplicate file name, what's the conflict policy? So you can either rename or skip the file. Um, if it's uh, an iOS device and it does the live photos with a little bit of motion with the still video, you can choose it to upload the photo only or the photo and the video that goes with it. Um, and with the uh, Apple devices as well, they use HEIC as a uh, picture format. It's a, a high efficiency um, um, codec that they use. Um, and you can choose to upload it in that file format. Um, you can do JPEG or you can even use both options if you want to. Um, so there's two different uh, selections there that you can you can select for that. Um, you can also have it set to only upload when charging uh, because sometimes it can be a big task, especially the first upload of all your pictures when you first set this up. Um, only auto upload if I'm connected to Wi-Fi and you can hide the status bar if you wish so that the auto upload task uh, doesn't keep popping up as you're trying to browse through files. So I'll just enable that one there. 
Uh, so if you go back to the side menu, you've got options down here to manage your sharing links. So if you were to click on a file and do a share link, so if I was to go into the public share and look at this, say, PFSense ISO, I can say share download link for that. So even though I'm on a mobile device, I can have a link created direct from my NAS that I can give to somebody. So it's not actually transferring the file through the mobile device. So you can choose to set that up there as well. I've already got one. So if I go back to the uh, sharing links, we should see one that I've already got set up. Um, so there's a, an Ubuntu ISO that I've got, and that's showing me that it's shared, um, and it's showing me when it will expire, the size of it, and who actually shared it. And if you tap the three little dots, you get some options where you can have your NAS email a copy of that link. You can copy the link itself, or you can delete the link so that it's no longer sharing. You don't have to log into the NAS web interface to disable these links. You can just tap the delete option there. I'll click confirm, and that says no shared links are available anymore. So if we go back to the side menu, we can see things like uh, background tasks and download folders. So the download folder is really like a history of everything that you've done. It's a local cache. So if you've opened up a 5 meg JPEG file before, it will be able to be stored in there and you can access the download folder to access some recent items that you've already accessed. Um, and we also have the settings option. So settings is really the settings for the whole app. There's quite a few options in here. Um, so you've got conflict settings up there for uploads, downloads, and copy move tasks. So you can choose what the action is for those. Uh, you can add your QNAP ID right there as well. As you scroll down, you've got the cache. So that's those local files in that download folder. And you can clear that cache if it's using up too much space on your device if you want to. And um, some general security settings and privacy settings where you can opt in or out of user experience programs as well. And this is where you would also do the setup of auto uploads uh, of the files. So the NAS option there is what I did, and that's the settings that I already showed you in there. Uh, with the upload and download policy, you can choose to have it only work if you're on Wi-Fi. Uh, the live photos were options that we selected already uh, for the auto upload, uh, but this can also apply to manual uploads as well. And then it shows you the download folder. So it shows you the size allocated to that download folder for a local cache copy of the different uh, items that you have. Um, the lowest size is 500 meg, but you can change it to different options with whichever suits you best. Again, if it does get too big, you can always clear the cache to empty that out. And um, when you're browsing photos, you can choose to have it as thumbnail size or the original size. So you've got some different options there as well. And you can also have hidden files shown. So any hidden files or folders that are on the NAS, you can choose to display those there just by changing that, that box around, um, as well as the recycle bin. So if you wanted to recover accidentally deleted files, for example, they would be in the recycle bin. So you can have that enabled there as well. And you've got options to share from other apps and other NAS devices. So you can choose Setup Now and you can choose which NAS that you want to upload files to. And at the bottom, you can reset the Do Not Notify Me Again prompt. So the, the very first time you do a task, it will uh, give you an option to uh, not remind you again about the different options. You can auto select which option. So down at the bottom, we do have an option to reset those if you want it back to the default option. Okay, so that's really everything in our QFile application. It's a very easy application and there's options to refresh uh, folders on the fly. You don't have to go out and back into different folders as well. Um, it is free, again, it is available for both iOS and Android. Um, and it really does help you do uh, management tasks within different things um, on your NAS. There's lots of different options that you can do, copying, moving, uh, creating zip files with the compress option. You can do a lot of different options within this app. Um, and every task that you do um, doesn't go through the device. So if I was to copy a folder uh, to another location on the NAS, it's going to go straight NAS to NAS. I'm just sending the instruction to do that from the device. So it's not going to use any data charges to do those types of things either. Um, hopefully you found that useful. If you do have any questions, please do ask them in the, uh, in the comments below and we'll get back to you as quick as possible. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.